Hey everyone. Good morning. So you may not recognise us as we've pretty we're pretty covered up this morning. I've probably got about six layers on because it is pretty cold. Yes. But we are all wrapped up because we're doing something pretty special this morning. So we are actually in Accurary in Iceland. And uh, oh, can I just say as well on the cruise ship as we were sailing into the port we went up iceland's longest fjord yes which i'll put the name over now because i can't even pronounce it but we got some lovely shots you attached your gopro to one of the um glass panels yeah. at the side on the open deck and we got some lovely footage it was it was just so beautiful yeah it scenery. was really nice but it's actually i believe from the mouth of the fjord up until uh, where we are it's 40 miles right. long well we're here yes we are doing a boat trip <laughs> with a possibility of seeing whales yes it's a whale trip but we're just calling it a boat trip because we never have any luck with seeing whales on these boat trips because so. obviously we went on one of these whale trips in alaska and didn't really see anything apart no. from the glimpse of a tail just going under the water towards the end so we've kept saying we'll just call it a boat trip yeah. and then if we see a whale it's a bonus yes but we don't have to get like a shuttle or anything no. we literally step off the cruise ship and uh, we're in the town so obviously if you're not doing an excursion or anything like that there's no need to you could just walk around i don't yeah. think there's much here but you know yeah so uh well let's get off and see how much there isn't here yeah so we're just off the ship now i don't know why i've only got one glove on uh, I don't, yeah, one's in the is, other pockets. There we go. That's my life, people, my <laughs> life. But yeah, there's the lovely Prima behind. Fingers crossed for a dry day for us, people. I can feel a couple of spots anyway, but if I just turn around, so there's the ship. Literally, you walk just the other side of these miniature warehouses. They look like old air hangers. Uh, that's, according to Google Maps, that's where the town is. Honest, there doesn't seem like there's too much in the town this is no. small in Reykjavik and really as you can see just over Stacey's right shoulder there's a lot of buses for tours and stuff you really need to do a tour yeah so I was gonna say by the time we've done our whale trip which is three hours by the way um, I think we've only got literally an hour and then we've got me back on the ship so it's okay for maybe a little walk around but I think it's more that you've got probably do um, excursions here like Kev's just said yeah you yeah. can do the rest that you can do in Reykjavik pretty much if you didn't get a chance in Reykjavik you can come and do it here just to let you know we've booked our trip externally they're always quite expensive on the cruise ship so we don't normally bother we've booked ours through Viator the TripAdvisor uh, excursions website but it's booked with Alding just behind me I don't know if you can see it uh, for the both of us for the three hour whale trip Boat, boat trip. trip, boat trip. <laughs> With whales uh, an additional plus. Hopefully, I will pay extra to see whales. Uh, it's cost £161.70 pence for both of us. So considerably cheaper than booking through the cruise uh, ships. They're always that expensive. So there's uh, some of the boats you could be going on, I suppose, depending on the size of the group who's going on your boat trip, whale watching trip. Uh, you could be on either of those uh, free boats there. So that's... Uh, just to show you what they could be. I wasn't sure if it was through this company, was it Kev, or somebody else, but we could have had like one of the smaller rib boats. They're literally just there. Yeah, yeah. just one of them, <laughs> which we would have personally maybe preferred because you get a bit more close and personal like to the water. Yeah. But with the forecast being snow, and obviously we're in Iceland, it's a lot colder. We thought we'd go for the bigger boat where we could go inside if it was probably a bit too cold. So we're just waiting to get on now. We all checked in. The biggest one is ours. You get on about half an hour before, so it does say don't get here any later than 15 minutes, but try and get here. There's gaps on the floor. <laughs> I don't know what to worry, foot goes out Yeah, there. so get here earlier than that. I've just checked the weather forecast as well, and it's changed a lot. So it has forecast no rain now until 11 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock when we get on here, so oh, fingers crossed. The front seems like sectioned off, so there's a front bit and then a middle grate and then another one and then there's one up that way and one round the back so there's plenty of viewing areas as you can see we're relatively close to the front to get the full force of the wind
so Kev's back with two hot chocolates. I have to stand this way or the wind blows it everywhere. We've only been on it about 10 minutes <laughs> and already. It feels longer than that. <laughs> These were like a thousand kroner. How much is that? I don't know. Eight quid? Who cares when you're this cold? I don't care. Let's drink them. Oh. So something did very sneakily come out of the water. Yeah. yeah we did I wasn't expecting to see anything here, I won't lie to you. That's one. Oh, oh, so the workers on board the boat think that was a minky whale. We have seen them before in the Canary Islands. Um, but yeah, we've seen something. Yay! Well, we did better than we did in Alaska. Yes. And we're not getting wet this time yeah. yet, so. Yeah. He did say that he was mostly uh, minky whales and humpback yeah. whales that you see around here, so hopefully it's a humpback next. Yeah. Or an orca. Or an orca. They do see orcas now and again, which Stacey would go crazy for. Yeah, not that lucky. <laughs> Oh, and if you are really cold, they do provide you with fetching like red overalls. You can always just go down and ask for any of them. But we can't really be bothered, so we're just going to brace the cold with hot chocolate. So we've just seen a humpback whale. Hopefully it showed up okay on the camera. First one we've ever seen. Ooh. Humpback <laughs> and minkies now. So both these whales that we saw they said both humpbacks. Yeah, the it's one really that was hard because you just come up for air quick and then they quickly go back on deck. And then obviously they just change direction and here in Iceland, the water. This so is instead of trying to ground, catch a comeback up, you think and so because of that, it's going to be the over there and then it's going to be there. So he's uh, trying his best. <laughs> Right, there you go, we've seen a, the, it's mostly the same humpback, but we've seen it four or five times now, diving down deep and you get to see the tail, or as the guy on the announcement was calling him, the wings. So yeah, we're two hours into it now, we're just going head back now. It is freezing cold, okay? So uh, wrap up warm if you do come on one of these trips. Right, so we're off that little boat now. I oh, almost said ship. <laughs> it's a boat. And so then we're getting on a ship, yeah, not a boat. Yeah. Very confusing. But that was absolutely amazing. Yeah, really, uh, really enjoyed that. It was lovely just going up the uh, fjords as well mm. in the boat. Just fantastic scenery. And we saw some whales, so Finally. yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> saw a few good tails. Hopefully they showed yeah. up okay. Because with the boat, 
kind of rocky and then you your boat and you're like oh it's over there and you're moving <laughs> so quick and yeah hopefully they were okay because the guy was saying as well i think the uh, fjord that we went up is 100 meters deep mm. and that when the whales die they pretty much go down to the bottom of that so yeah he was explaining how the way the tail is when it comes out the water if it's pretty up you know they're going down for a deep dive yeah because so they were we saying kind of, all the we'll different get used to it towards the end we were like okay well that's a shallow dive yeah. that's a deep dive <laughs> because also he said at night the krill and the fish come higher up so the whales don't dive as deep so no. if you come at night uh, obviously it's probably better in the summer yes. when it's late at night lighter. You, uh, lighter nights yeah not late at night um, yeah you can see um, the mouths open at the top of the mm. water as well yeah so uh, maybe we'll come back again and do it in the summer it's just nice to have seen something because obviously as yes. we know from Alaska you know these whale sightings aren't always guaranteed we it know is that. nature yeah you know we they're not trained animals yeah. so yeah it was it, it was lucky uh, that we got to see them so feel grateful for yes. that but let's get back on the ship because yeah. i'm ready for a shower so a we, warm shower we just got to walk to there <laughs> so uh, we are freezing cold hey, but at least we're dry yeah <laughs> big bonus there spat a couple of times but we are dry but yeah like they said best bet get back on this ship before we freeze to death and Stacey's toes drop off yeah <laughs> so <laughs> as always yeah thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time bye, bye.